Hi guys, in this video we'll be looking at negative externalities and then we'll be finishing off with a summary. So now we're going to explore this idea of an externality. And we know that an externality is a cost or benefit that is experienced by a third party who is external to an exchange. So we call it an externality precisely because someone else outside of the exchange of the good or services is experiencing some kind of cost or benefit. And when production or consumption imposes an external cost on third parties outside of the market or from the exchange, there are negative externalities. And therefore, a negative externality or an external cost is a cost that is suffered by a third party as a result of economic transactions. So in an economic exchange, we know that the underpinning theory is that we have our producer and that we also have our consumers. These will be described as our first and second party. So they're the people that are actually involved in the exchange itself. The third party, however, includes any other individual or firm that is indirectly affected by the exchange. So we are thinking about sort of the wider society that is affected by an exchange, potentially different firms. So if one firm makes one action, then another firm might make a different action dependent on what kind of industry that they're in and in how competitive it is. So we can expect all kinds of people to be affected in the third party. So negative externalities can arise from consumption or production. So let's take the production of pizzas. In the production of pizza, we might end up using coal to cook our pizzas on coal fire ovens, and that's going to increase CO2 emissions, which isn't going to be great for the environment. And then we can think about consumption of, say, eating a lot of pizza. And there is the negative externality of, say, the health costs of obesity and unhealthy eating as a result of eating lots of pizza. Okay, so furthermore, negative consumption externalities arise when certain goods are consumed by society. So if we think about alcohol, we might see increased crime. Another example is landfills. When we dump our rubbish just in these big areas, it leads on to just more and more waste dumping and more waste accumulation, which isn't necessarily a good thing. And then smoking, there's the external benefit to those who don't smoke through secondhand smoke, which leads to further health costs beyond those who are just smoking the cigarettes. And now let's think about negative production externalities, which arise when the production of certain goods impacts parties outside of an exchange. So if we're thinking about, say, some energy plants that are burning coal, well, coal leads to higher pollution, which will not benefit the environment or people in that area. And then if we think about oil drills in the sea, if there is spills, that impacts the environment and biodiversity. And then finally, we could think about how farmers spray pesticides and other chemicals on their plants which can lead to chemicals in our food which might lead to slightly untoward costs for individuals consuming that food hey guys i hope you enjoyed the video and if you're looking for an amazing a-level economics resource join me today in my series of engaging bite-sized video tutorials just click the snap revised smiley face and together let's make a-level economics a walk in the park